Hi, I'm Tom and I'm here at the Science Museum to meet someone a bit special who might make us think differently about our bodies. This is Rex, the bionic man. He's been built to demonstrate the advancements in technology of prosthetic parts of his face, which is a perfect model of Berthold, who we've met earlier. The hands can grip and twist on the control of nerves, or more specifically on the control of the muscle movement. And uh, he's got artificial legs, which he can stand up on. Inside here, there are various things, including an artificial pancreas. The artificial pancreas knows when to release insulin. Artificial blood is pumping around the system, which can absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide and can be used, hopefully, to not replace, but eventually um, sort of augment the use of blood bank blood. And, and uh, a skull, perfectly modelled on a human skull with titanium plates. Quite what the glasses are intended to do, I'm not completely sure, but they do look very funky. At the moment, these arms can pick up, can, hand sh can shake hands, can make quite delicate movements, but will they in future be able to uh, scale walls? Will the legs be able to leap over tall buildings? I mean, we've always upgraded things like eyes using glasses and uh, hearing using hearing aids, but I mean, will in future we be able to make better versions that can t tell us updates on the uh, weather scrolling down inside our eyes? Are we looking at an early prototype of a future superhuman? The question is, at what stage do we want to stop replacing parts and start improving upon them? Apparently, he has something to say. Subscribe to our channel. <laughs>